you how you can make a seamless carousel for your Instagram page using Canva. So I've already kind of filled in some random text and stuff like that. Here's what you're going to do. So say you're going to use an element, right? My example says free interactive notebook template. So a good option might be to put in a notebook and I'm going to make it kind of nice and big. Um, I'll put it backwards so that the title is over it and I'm going to do some cute like little angling. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you see how these pink lines are popping up? Those are guides. They're telling you what it's lining up with. You're going to drag this thing until you see there. On the right side of the page, there's a faint like purpley line. That's telling you that it is halfway on the page, halfway off the page. And you're going to drop it there. Okay? And I actually kind of like it better down here. There, because now it's kind of lining up with the title. Okay. So then you're going to take this element and you're going to copy it. So I just hit Command C. And you're going to paste it here. We're not going to leave it there though. We're going to paste it one more time. So now there's two of them. And we're going to use this element on the right that I'm not moving. Oh, you see that purple line's going through, kind of fuchsia -y line is going through it. It's telling me that it's lined up halfway through. That means that it's um, horizontally lined. Ooh, and I moved it left, 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 left until you see that fuchsia line is coming down again. That's telling me the other half is off the page, right? Half of it's on the page, half of it's off the page. And I'm moving it to the back so that way it's behind my title. Okay, then you're going to delete this one because we don't want two of the same notebooks hanging on and off. If you go to the page view, now you can kind of see, oh, see how it's first half on one page, second half on the other page? That's all there is to it, okay? Then you can go here, and let's say your interactive notebook template, maybe you have beautiful photos you've taken of it. You can do this same trick with an image. So let's just pretend like you have a nice squarish photo and that this is the right size, you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to drag, 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 drag. Oh, there's that pink line. Leave it there. And I'm going to copy this image, and I'm going to go down. I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to paste it again, because this one is where the other one is, and I'm going to use it as a horizontal line to kind of guide me. Scooch, 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 scooch. Oh, there's the pink line telling me it's at half. Get rid of the other one. I'm going to push this to the back. And we can check the pages and just see, oh, yep, see how that would line up nicely. Okay, and on this one, I might do like one more little photo-y element or something like this. Like, um, yeah, let's just say this is an opt-in on a blog post. You could add like a picture of your blog here or something to tell people where to go. Or maybe even like, I don't know, Canva has all sorts of fun design elements. Ooh, those are kind of weird squiggles. Um, yeah, maybe something like a little shroop -a doop like this, just to add a little bit more something something. And I could even put it up here. Yeah, something like that. So then you can see, oh, if I did that, well, uh, I kind of want to do because I put it there, I kind of want it to be here too. Yeah, no. Although that one's a little bit busy there. Because now you can see, okay, that element is gonna connect there too. All right, so you could do it with elements, you can do it with graphics, you can do it with photos, you can do this with any other thing in Canva. The only trick, um, the trickiest thing to do would be to do it with text because well, let's just see if it even works. I haven't really played with this with text a whole lot. Let's just say we wanted to have some sort of seamless call to action, right? So this is our thing halfway. Yes, halfway works too. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. So now it's, you can see how it's like that. I don't really love doing this with a call to action because you really want it to be very legible, but it's an option. Like if you wanted to say, um, maybe includes would be a good word to have kind of scrolling between or like check out the features or some, some sort of like kind of filler text that's not as important as telling them where to find the thing. But 
you can do this continued element with text as well. So that's how you would do that. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and let me know. I hope this was helpful for you. Hopefully it gives you some ideas for different ways you can design your Instagram content.